Ah, shit. Okay, so, I think I finally fixed all my issues. I don't think this computer likes my RAM very much, but it's working for now, so... I guess until, uh... I guess until next week, I'm just gonna have to make do with it. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. I just want to adjust the volume real quick. Uh, I think that's good. Okay, check items is one. Look closer is the right mouse. Crouch is C. Okay. to say I'm sorry I can't be there to see you but it is impossible please please don't go digging around trying to find out where I am I don't want anyone to know we'll see each other again someday don't be worried I love you Sam how odd odd house What is this? A Christmas duck? Screw the duck! Oh, what's under the duck? Oh, a house key, okay. Nothing. Like, did they just like move into the house? I don't know. I guess so. Dear Katie, so much has changed, even just since you've been away. We moved into this house. I'm in a new school, and my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't feel real, but I'm not gonna let it phase me. I used to tell you everything, and if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where, I'll tell it to this journal. Just like what I was talking toilet. to you. Wait, why is that there? Like, what is this? The hell am I gonna do with a pencil or a pen? It's odd to just leave that there, I guess. Sam. Sam. Hello. 
Sam. Okay. <coughs> Where are you? Daniel from the old neighborhood called. He wants to come really? see the house. Call him back. Mom, I'm Daniel's a total widow. The reason I ever hung out with him in the first place is he had a Nintendo when we were little. There. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. That's weird to put that right under there. Hi mom, dad, and Sam. I'm in Paris. I have done many Parisian things, including eating something that I can't pronounce and wearing a beret. I'm going to have lots of film to develop when I get back. Sam, I'm bringing you back something from the Shakespeare Book Company since you are my favorite sister. Love you all, Katie. Oscar Mason, 60, of Boone County, died peacefully last month in his home. Mr. Mason was born on September 8, 1933, in the house that would be his home for the rest of his life. He attained, damn. He attained his degree in pharmacy at a young age and returned to Boone County to practice. He quickly became a well-loved, a well-loved figure in the center of the community. I don't get it. It's weird. Oh, wait. I saw this. Oh. Oh, so maybe they inherited the house. Survivors include his nephew Terrence Greenbrier, as well as this, as well in spirit, the people of Boone County. Whatever. I don't know who that is. If she's like in the military, why does she have like pink-looking hair? Like I can't imagine they'd allow that. Like, just saying. to Betsy. Okay, I don't need to read a list. Oh my god. You are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school. And there I am, introducing myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just stood there, pushing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. <sighs> Great. So the house is evil? Is that it? Like this stuff. The Holy Bible. It's weird that I could pick that up.
<sighs> Dear Jen, it's so good to hear from you again. All this new house business sounds like quite the adventure. Remember the little dorm room we shared freshman year when we were miserable fantasizing about our dream homes? I always said I wanted a mansion. You said you just wanted a house in the woods. Look who got both. Somebody up there likes you. I could use... I could use some of that magic. Send me some lotto numbers. I'll play them. Seriously. But I shouldn't be complaining about this good old... S split level we've had since Bob got transferred to Winnipeg? We just got new... Vinyl siding. Jealous yet? Let me know if you ever wanted to trade places... So how are the girls doing? Has Katie left on her big European adventure yet? Speaking of jealous, right back soon. I miss you, Rumi, Carol. Damn it, no, close it. You got these tears. Like, why am I snooping through, I guess, my own house? Uh... Oh, it's a vent. Oh, I guess one section of this big place at a time. Oh yeah, I did open that, or whatever. Christ! It's random, why would it let me pick it up? Uh, whatever, I don't care about that, actually. Damn it! Close it! Close it all! A thousand dollars? For a laser disc compact player? What if JFK wasn't JFK? This all sounds weird. Conspiracy theories. Oh, there's gotta be something good in there. What if it's the date she left? What was it? Six, seven, I knew one. Or seven, six, I knew one. Whatever. No, wait, it's 94, I think. Whatever, I don't know. That fan is really loud for, like, no reason. This is a nice room. <laughs> 90210, does anybody still care? Not really. Wait, there's a note there. The accidental? The unreliable? Accidental pariah. Oh. Well, Papa, your secret is safe with me. Wait, what is that? There's a room here, I think. 
That or really bad wallpaper, I can't tell. Oh, maybe it's just a glitch. This is a severe weather warning. The Northwest Weather Service reports high winds and torrential rain conditions affecting the following counties. Austin County, Boone County, Dawn County, Tacoma County, and the Dark County. Terry, hey man. Damn, why would he have it from 1978? But hey man, how have you been? I know you're a published author and everything now, but my editor at Hi Fi, Shianu, has too much reviewer to, to, to go around and he's looking for. Another freelancer, naturally I thought of you, you were saying in your cast letter how much of a pain it's been trying to find a publisher for your latest work of literature, and writing stereo reviews is uh, dead simple. Sit at home with a glass of scotch, listen to some records, and write up how it sounds, and then get paid. I've included some issues of the mag to use as examples. If you're interested, send me some sam send some samples to my editor and tell him your old college chum. Oh my god, I couldn't read that for a second. Mike sent you. Here's the address. Okay. Oh god, though. Can't can't listen to that shit. Rain conditions affecting the following counties: Austin County, Boone County, Dawn County, Tecumseh. Sam thought this might help. Dad. Residents are strongly urged to stay indoors and secure all windows. You know that feeling where the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a Who's big gold the DVD star well, no, around them, is like and you have to get to know them. VCR. Well, there's this girl. Ginger ale. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk, but sometimes I see her in this, like, army uniform. And she's always drawing in this notebook, looking so intense. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her. Till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every day after school. Who doesn't like Street Fighter? Ugh. Oh wait, maybe I can light those on. Eh, 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 eh. Eh? No? This is stupid then. That's the coaster I threw before, I think. The X-Files! <gasps> Stop! I love the X-Files. Bratmobile, get the hell away from me. Whatever. I'm not that interested in it. Did I just realized that. Is this a fucking couch fort? Oh, there's no door here, I just realized that. I don't get it. If they knew this chick was coming, like, why aren't they home? And 
why do they have so many junk drawers? No, come here, yeah. Actually, I think that's a Hadouken. Uh, whatever. So you know what they say about the best light plans of mice and men? Yeah, turns out it applies to Street Fighter too. At least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask for a turn, but all that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. So after I was finished getting my butt kicked, I followed them outside while they smoked. And that was when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. But then she said she's always really wanted to see the psycho house. Her name is Lonnie. She's coming over tomorrow. Oh, this is a bar. Ooh, put some of that away. Why would it be on the floor? Was my family all brutally murdered? <laughs> Oh, the menstrual cycle, we're not reading that. Somehow I always knew that someday we be through. Now that it's happened, I just can't. Yeah, we're not gonna listen to that either. It's like a bar slash study. We'll just leave the one light on. Kick in the fucking door! I don't care if it's her house. Oh, to the basement. Maybe we don't want to go there then. How is that a music room? There is a little fucking bar there. That's the bar. Alright, so we're done with this section of the house. I want to check something. What's that? Why would that be there? June 6th. Oh, maybe that was... Wait. So maybe it was... 6694? Where was that thing in the office? It's so funny because like look how tiny the closet is yet the wall goes back that way. Like it looks like a full-fledged room. Okay, that's locked. You think that that would light up up here? What if it's 9294? I don't know. Can't even read that.
It's weird hanging out with girls. Daniel was around ever since I was little, and other girls? I don't know. But being around Lonnie is like instantly just right. I gave her the grand Psycho House tour and took my revenge on Super uh. Nintendo. And it was like, I don't know. I finally found someone I feel normal around. I drove her home and she gave me this Bullshit, tape if she was a girl, said, she'd have nicer handwriting. I've got to listen to this. I haven't stopped playing it since. That's different. Hazard Patty Smith hit nice. Uh fucking love Kurt Cobain. Tool. What? I mean, she has good taste in music. Wow. What if it's one oh one seven? find these combinations. Wait, 
what? Oh. Wild color. Lonnie brought her hair dye over today. She said, I need to fix these roots. Think you could help? Dying hair is weirdly intimate. I don't know if I've touched someone else's scalp before. That's pretty intimate, right? It felt intimate. We looked into the mirror together after, and I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy or good or whatever. But that's when she said, you're so beautiful. And she was looking at me. Right in that moment, I wanted to say something, but I waited. And the moment was gone. Alright, so Lonnie's a lesbian. Who cares? Which room is this? They're messy. Oh wait, it has to be the parents' room. Duh. Ew. <laughs> I'd be grossed out too. Why are Why are they all missing VCRs? Oh, I can't deal with that handwriting. I am sorry. It's not working out. Definitely intrigues me. Like, I think it's cool that you have this area and then you go in here. Odd, but kind of cool. Katie, Mom and Dad were going to make up the guest room for you to stay in over the summer, but you came home on such short notice that they weren't around to do it. You can use my room if you want. I won't be needing it anymore, Sam. But that's... What the fuck? This isn't her room. It's not a bad looking room, but it's not hers. Ghost Hunter Journal. August 31st. Let's see. 
A tall shadow in the upstairs hall. When I rounded the corner, no one was there. How tall was Uncle Oscar? Note, I was not wearing my glasses. September 3rd. A faint voice coming from the bottom of the stairs. I said hello. Did not investigate. Probably was the furnace. September 9th. Poured milk from carton in fridge. It was spoiled. Pretty sure I read that spirits can sour milk. Milk was just bought yesterday. <laughs> also ghost milk. October 9th. Lonnie says she feels a presence in the TV room. I suddenly begin to feel cold. We build a protective pillow for it. Lonnie and I employ Ouija board as a medium. Disturbing messages are conveyed from the other side. Oscar is definitely here. 28th through 29th. Enlisted Lonnie to stay up all night and help patrol premise, recording any signs of otherworldly presence. Lonnie reported many sightings, but all remained unconfirmed. Possible ectoplasm in the attic. Probably due to leaky roof. Sample taken just in case. Despite our best efforts, we both fell asleep around 4 a.m. All in all, a successful night. Sam's dark room do not enter if red lights are on. Alright, well we gotta find the player first. Sometimes you just have to lie to mom and dad. Like when Lonnie asked me to see a band with her and stay over at her friend's place in the city after. That's a lie to mom and dad situation. But it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome. And everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. Between two songs, Lonnie leaned over and said, How do you like your first show? I was so happy. I felt tears starting in my eyes. And then she up and hugged me. I think she could tell. Wait, what is that say? Look, wait, what does it say? Don't look here. What if it's two, three, six, eight? No, well, there's a nine there too, so it's not gonna help me. Lonnie, holy crap, I was in the library and I noticed something in the corner and I found a secret passage and. It hit Oscar's creepy old stuff in it. Oh my god, I have to see this. We're skipping six. Okay, so it's through their closet.
Hey, Runic, I'm doing pretty good. How about you? Oh, that's cool. Okay. Oh, crap. Did the light just break or did I turn it off? Ah, shit. I don't know what that cross said. Apartments found three. Okay, so there's one in the library, her room, and then the connector, I guess. Where did I throw that s that cross? Oh, that stinks. Yeah, this is on the computer. So, oh, that means that there's a compartment hidden here. I don't At Todd's brother's place after the show, there was only a futon to sleep on, so Lonnie and I shared it. The lights went out. I was turned toward her, my eyes started to adjust, and then I could see she was looking at me, too. In the dark, she smiled. My heart was beating so fast. I rolled over, I felt so, I don't know, Wait, he's nervous. got an obsession with JFK, what After if After a minute, she put her arm around me, and was so close, and whispered in my ear, I really like you. I just Damn. nodded my head, and I really hope she could tell. I really hope that she meant what I think she did. I felt like a shook up can of soda ever since. I hope we have the chance to talk before I explode. Uh, one of these panels. Some kind of hidden path here. Something's hidden here. I just don't know where. I think. Here we go. Private, do not read. Uh, no, I do not right now. Did I read this? Yeah, I did. Alright, so I got those two. The other one is somewhere in her room. Outside of her room, I guess. Right. 
Okay, wait. If that's her room, then it should be right across the hall. This hall. Okay. Zero fifty one. To come BA? What does that mean? Oh, to come back, probably. Smoking. She was sitting at my desk chair, and she wouldn't look at me. Jillian Finally, Anderson. Finally, I asked that her is not Jillian Anderson. Or she said already. she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think. I think but somebody I said, was no, stealing clothes. There was nothing wrong. I just wanted to say, but I couldn't find the words. It felt like I was gonna cry, but I wasn't sad. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. Lonnie, do you think you could ever... And that's when she kissed me. different now. I mean, we still hang out all the time like before. But now when no one else is around... Well, I'm not really well, looking you know, for one. So you could say we're dating. But it's secret. Secret dating? I don't know. Wait, maybe there's something on the I mean, I guess that's the real difference. Now when we get off the phone or go home for the night, or it's just quiet and we're alone. We say I love you. There are no more lights down here. It's kind of a pain. Oh, wait. What? Where did this girl's family go? Like, I don't get it. They tell you to stick with the group on field trips, Katie. There's a reason for that. Lonnie and I snuck off on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. Okay, a lot lost. Like, for hours. 
Right before the bus left, we found a trail and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not to leave. The school called home. Todd's band lost their singer. Todd said he sucked. Lonnie said he got sick of Todd's shit, and he was complaining about needing a new singer. So Lonnie was like, I can sing. And they were all kind of like, you can? And she was like, probably. But she's been rehearsing with them for like a week now. And I finally got to see them play in Todd's basement today. And she's actually really amazing. I feel so proud when she's on stage. It's incredible being in awe of someone you love. So everybody knows it's like a temporary situation the library until she ships out missing. But till then, I'm gonna be at every single show. A weird room. I can't even read that. Listen to that. So a whole another section of the house. Wait, what? So that's just her getting in trouble. I don't get Lonnie sometimes. Like her band and our zine and her hair and everything Girl Justice are all anti-authority. But I watch her in right. JROTC. There's got to be a cassette tape somewhere. She's doing if there's drills a player. in perfect formation, following orders, no question. And there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask, don't tell. Like she's going to join the army and then have to lie about who she is. She said they don't need to know what they don't need to know. Like it was no big deal. This from the girl who trashed her locker to like defend my honor. I've learned when to stop arguing though. I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie sometimes. Heavens to Betsy. part of the house I have not been to yet, so I'm gonna leave that. Thanks, Runic. Don't worry about it. I intend to be here for a long time. Is this another secret area? Oh, stop. That's creepy.
fight. Oh, it's this way. All right. Let's see. Okay, it's a ticket stub. Hey Lonnie, sorry my mom was such a bitch last night. She's hardly ever around since her forest is like an hour away. And then when she is home, she takes it out on you. Like because you're not a member of the family, she knows you won't call her on it and I'm sorry. Haha, it's okay. I know she's just jealous of your cool and freewheeling lifestyles. I feel sorry for you. Oh, I'm lucky my mom lives in Florida. You have them. You have to have a mom every day. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring up the mom thing like that. I know I shouldn't complain. No, I'm being serious. My mom is a psycho Christian, and her new husband Don is a complete tool. Living in Florida with him is her eternal punishment in my mind. So you wouldn't rather live with your mom in Florida? No. Okay, that's different. No, oh, whatever. Okay, so I got that open now. Sliding doors on this side. The skull was the coolest thing I found in Mexico, and it was like three bucks American. I love you. Merry Christmas. Miss you, L. Treasure it always. Mom's other purse. All right, Runic, take it easy. Thanks for coming and watching. Have a good one. What is this? I got two tickets for EFW on Thursday, but my girlfriend says she doesn't want to go. Her taste in music rears its ugly head again. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Nothing. Oh, it's another room. That's kind of cool. Disturbing inappropriate materials on school grounds. Phone call to parents. Out of school suspension. Damn, four days. Sam, since you refuse to hear us out this afternoon, your mother and I are putting this in writing so that we are absolutely clear. You are grounded for the rest of the month from social and telephone privileges and from using your car for anything except going to and from school. We understand that you are going what you are going through, but we can't allow you to continue with this kind of behavior at school. And clearly, once your privileges are reinstated, we can't allow you to have your bedroom door closed while Lonnie is at the house. This is the last word on the matter. Get back to Get back on course so this won't have to happen again, Dad. I had an interesting talk with Mom and Dad tonight. One you were never going to need to have. I mean, you've known, right? I've known. I've known since, like, She-Ra. Mom and Dad didn't, I guess. But they saw the zine and the stuff on the locker, and they were like... Is there something we should know about you and Lonnie? You can't read this and lady. So here's the thing. I was prepared for them to be mad or disappointed or start crying or something, but they were just in denial. You're too young to know what you want. You and Lonnie are just good friends. You just haven't met the right boy. It's a phase. That's what I didn't see coming. That they wouldn't even respect me enough to believe me. Well, joke's on them, because they're in for one very long phase. 
Whatever. So they're upset that she's a lesbian. Who cares? It's not that serious. I mean, whatever. I guess back then it wasn't that accepting, but... Cola. <laughs> Used by. Oh, so wait, that's bad. Isn't it? Why would you have more milk? going on with this kitchen what is going on in this house that's like the real thing shit is like crazy found the garage. Sam, your mother and I will be away for a long weekend celebrating our anniversary. We will be camping, blah, 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 whatever. Lonnie had her going away show with her band tonight. She's so incredible on stage. When she was singing, I could practically forget everything. That we only had 48 hours left. That I don't know what comes next. That I can't live without her. Oh, a laundry room. Then she dedicated the last song to me. I couldn't take it. I like this room. I was out on the curb in the alley, sobbing till my ribs hurt. I would follow her anywhere, Katie. But I can't. Where she's going. After a long time, she found me. She said she was sorry. She said, I wish things could be different. I just wanted to make you happy. I said, I don't think you can anymore. door under stairs <laughs> where we'll do it the final preparations are complete we agreed our last night together would be our happiest ever and we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all it worked for a while we had a good time seeing Oscar off then ran up to the attic to look through our photos to find one for Lonnie to take with her Wait, what was this room? and looking Bad at room. them realized they were all in the past and there wouldn't be any more I didn't know what I was going to do and I cried and she held me she said she knew it was hard but life would move on I said I didn't want my life to keep moving without her that's when she cried too I was so exhausted I must have fallen asleep like that, in her arms. In the morning, I woke up, and I was finally alone. It's a big ass piece of chalk.
The sunset light in this house is the saddest thing I've ever seen. I just want to sleep. When I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Maybe I'll go up to the attic and wait. in the attic, in Lonnie in my old spot, and I missed the first two calls. I just barely caught the third one before the machine got it. And it was Lonnie, on a payphone. She'd been on the bus to basic, and she said she couldn't, she couldn't think of anything but me, and us, and that she couldn't go through with it, with the army and being a part, and all of it. And so she got off the bus in Salem. She said, Sam, I want you to pack up everything you can and get in your car and come find me. And let's just drive until we find somewhere for us. And she asked me if I could do that. And I said, yes. Yes. Katie, I'm so sorry that I can't be there to see you in person, that I can't tell you all this myself, but I hope as you read this journal and you think back that you'll understand why I had to do what I did, and that you won't be sad, and you won't hate me, and you'll just know that I am where I need to be. I love you so much, Katie. Is that it? I'll see you again. Someday. Love. Sam. Okay. Well. I guess that's it. skip this I just thought about that like why am I fucking listening to it all right well that was a short game I'm a little disappointed well I'm sure at some point if I was if I cared enough I could figure out where uh, the other two codes are but I don't get it like where the hell are the parents then are they wait where they're on vacation yeah wait because I was in June June 3rd to 7th or whatever anyway whoot this game is done um, I'm not sure what I'm going to play next. I'm going to have to figure it out. I'm getting to that point where it's like I have all these games, but every time I think about playing them, I'm like, ugh, I don't want to play that game. It's a problem. An issue, really. But anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I guess I'm going to figure out what I'm going to play next, so... Either I will be back sometime today to start another game, or I will definitely be back tomorrow. So I'll catch you then.